Hello, my name is Lantian and I've just finished my three years studying aeronautical engineering at City University of London and I would like to share what my experience was like with you. For me, it's really hard to pinpoint what a typical day is like for me because I remember every year was really distinctive. So in first year, I um, started at 9am and I would finish at about 6pm and obviously there would be breaks throughout the day but it was jam-packed, you know, back to back sometimes with lectures and tutorials and then labs and then group design tasks. Um, but it was fun. Now, second year, the topics get a lot harder and there's just a lot more assignments to do or maybe it was the same maybe it's my imagination my handy tip would be to keep your head on and push through because you can't see the end <laughs> now third year oh yeah third year definitely for me got a lot harder the topics got a lot harder because um, a lot of the topics built um, upon the foundations and all the stuff that you learn from the past few years so keep your notes <laughs> You will enjoy your work, but you will still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> One of the best experiences I've had in all my course is the opportunity to go gliding. Um, as part of the aeronautical engineering course, you would have an opportunity to fly, um, take two flights actually, um, in a glider. and. You would have maybe 15 minutes where you fly yourself and <laughs> it's so hard to describe because it was just such an amazing experience um, but yeah you only do that once so treasure it. <laughs> I personally threw myself into the societies. I'm more of a breadth person than a depth person so I experienced a lot of things and I met with a lot of people. I'm not heavily committed to one like, sport or society, which means my average week would look pretty crazy. So let's say, you know, people who had hockey practice, same time every week. But for me, I would flip between like Zumba and badminton and volleyball, like at different times and different days of the week. And I would fit that around like extra studying or my job as a student ambassador. That's another thing, student ambassadors. Um, I got this job through Unitense, which is like a recruitment service for students and you have like odd jobs around campus. Um, and as a student ambassador, you would help out with open days or taster sessions, etc, etc. And it would be really flexible around your studies. I've made several friends, like quite a few friends actually, working on the job and one of which who admitted that she continued to work as a student ambassador just for the social aspect because I learned that finding like my right people that I get along with, you know, takes time and it takes time to get to know people so don't worry if you're not friends with the people that you met on the first week of your first term of in your first year <laughs> of course if that does happen to you i am i am happy for you coming from someone who started in a little city coventry um london basically had everything and i feel like I really like the aspect of having everything, you know, within arm's reach. So the tube service can literally take you anywhere you want and there's like no shortage of things to do in London. Like, I don't think I've explored everything in central London yet. Yeah, it's so exciting. Like, it's not for everyone, but for me, I really did enjoy studying in a university in London. I don't think I would pass that up for a campus university. Finally, I'd like to say that I've experienced a lot of city and it's kind of 
unfair for me to fit it into such a short clip, so I suppose you have to experience it for yourself.